back to Geneva. This is my last day and it's pretty cool because I have had an invite from a brand that I've had very little experience with and I love discovering new brands and new cars. The brand is not unfamiliar. We are here with Maserati on their wonderful stand and they extended me an official invitation to be their guest to literally sample caviar um, on their stand. There's one thing about Maserati and Italian brands in general they do lifestyle like nobody else. Their, their lounge back there, and it really is a lounge, is absolutely out of this world. So the opportunity I've got is to speak with their head of design. Um, if you watch this channel regularly, and I know I say that a lot, but you'll know that I love interviewing designers because of all the people that I've met in the car industry, designers are the most passionate. But now, this gentleman is going to be introducing me to the Levante. Now, as I mentioned, I've never really had much experience with Maserati. There's two things that I've learned, though. They sound amazing, and their styling is one of a kind. So I can't wait to pick this guy's brains. And then tomorrow, we're going on a special adventure with these guys. So, uh, yeah, let's see what he has to say, show you around the stand, and get involved with Maserati. Okay, here we are, head of design for Maserati, Klaus Busser. How are you, sir? I'm doing very well. Pleasure How are you? to meet you. Honor for me. This is the first time I've sort of teamed up with Maserati in an official capacity, and I couldn't but wish for anyone more qualified to introduce me to the brand. Thank you very so much. I'm here to talk about the styling upgrade of yes. the Levante. It makes it look fantastic. Can you tell me about it? Yeah, so what we have here is the Nerissimo edition, and we have three vehicles the Quattro Porte, the Levante, and the Ghibli. And now you can say, okay, aren't they just black? No, there's actually more than that. It's actually the real purification, a further purification of the brand. Because for us, you know, when you drive a Maserati, it's a car that in, uh, it's, it's very self-confident. It's got a Ferrari V8, or in this case a V6. So you don't need to prove to the world with tons of air intakes and air outlets like some other choose to do, like you have the power. You just have the power. And the sign of the power is the trident and the trident at the front. And the trident happens to be the only piece we remain in chrome to really give that the emphasis. Everything else we darkened and almost purified. So it's really about the trident. It's a beautiful portion of rear-wheel drive architecture cars. Yeah. That's why black, that's why they're the, the uh -huh. So it's a real purification. Oftentimes when we hear about cars having black packs applied, you know, it seems like such a subtle tweak. This one stood out for me instantly. So I was really hoping you would be able to point out and highlight you know, what is classed as this new pack. I think the reason you're reacting differently to these cars in mm. black because we're, we're talking about cars with amazing proportions. Those yeah. are performance cars. Yes. If you take the Quattro Porte, they're actually same Ghibli and Levante. Rear wheel drive, front engine, mm -hmm. big engine. So the cars, no matter what color, no matter sure. how subtle, no matter how mute, like in this case with the black, the yeah. proportions are just so extreme and performance oriented that it can take the black, where some maybe other product might just fall apart in this black. Sure. So what we've done is, in addition to that, we took uh, the chrome decoration, uh -huh. and that's, yep. that's it. Chrome is usually yep. decoration. Sure. And we said, okay, in this case, we really want to purify further. So we applied a very dark chrome. We didn't, it's not just black, which you see maybe with the competition, where we just paint everything black. Sure. We made it more subtle, so the chrome is a dark chrome. Yep. So it still has that quality Lovely. of value yeah, and, and yeah. perception. But we, we darkened it substantially, so it blends in. It allows the trident in the front to start be the really stuff. It really does pop, doesn't it? It does, yes. So I always lo love asking designers this question because it's so passionate. Is there anything that you're particularly most proud of? Well, <laughs> the one, the, the most proud of thing is I think it's the result. It's really because when we started this journey, the risk was to create just another black car. Mm -hmm. Sure. And I think just like you picked up on yeah. the fact, I think I'm so proud of my team is with with just the subtlety in some of the dark chromes versus just going black. Yeah and the wonderful work that the team had done in the very beginning when we conceived the car, creating these beautiful proportions together with the engineers. And then the sound of the car, oh my God, right? If you yeah. fire it up and you hear this Ferrari-derived engine. Straight away, so much passion and soul, it's priceless, right? right? And when, the, yeah. when you fire up that engine, you don't need all that bling-bling on the outside. You can yeah, yeah. really like Speak reduce. Yourself. Exactly. Yeah. And that is a different level of projecting self-confidence in a Maserati. Yeah, fabulous. So in terms of the way the car drives, any underpinnings, they're all the same. This is mostly an aesthetic, emotional yes. change. It is, it is an emotional change. It's really yeah. for the client who wants to even further mm -hmm. reduce 
how loud he, I mean, yes. he's going to be loud at the end. So he doesn't need the visual noise, sure. right? Yes. It's yeah. just purity, just elegance combined with a great engine sound. Yes. But the drivability is identical to the non Nerissimo. Awesome. And this styling I've seen now applies to Cochaporte as well? So we have it on the Cochaporte, yeah. our big saloon, yeah. the Ghibli. And we have here the Levantes. The reason I'm here talking with this gentleman is that after the Geneva event, I'm going to be luckily driving a Levante out to Italy to explore the beautiful roads and find out what this car is all about. So I look forward to speaking to you about that afterwards. Safe travels. Thank, thank you. you so much for your time. I'll speak to you and I'll see you soon. See you soon. Thank, thank you. you. sort of first induction to the world of Maserati as expected full of passion full of stories uh, super excited now to get on the road you know I've been in the YouTube car game for only two years but as a result of that I've had the incredible experience of driving almost every brand so it's really exciting to be able to discover something entirely new and we're doing it in style Maserati have in invited me to a trip up into the Alps where I get to really experience what the Levante and the brand I guess is all about so uh, yeah let me know comments below what you think of the car uh, I'm gonna be able to give you much more driving impressions on the next video uh, but yeah super excited and of course at the minute the world of SUVs is exploding and I think this is one of the best looking ones out there so it's gonna be good oh yeah and also Ferrari developed engine massive tick in my book as always guys thanks for watching see you next time on the road in the Levante ciao